I just like put them on and for the first time I felt like good about wearing prosthetics and I wanted to like show them off and that was something I'd never felt before. My name is Tilly Lockie, I'm 19 years old from England and I've dedicated my life pretty much to helping develop bionic arms. I've been working with a company called Open Bionics ever since I was nine, so about 10 years now. And together we've co-designed and co-created some of the most advanced bionic arms on the market now, which is super exciting. I lost my hands to meningitis when I was 15 months old. Before I was given a prosthetic, I was given like a hyper-realistic glove. It was always something that, you know, people kind of expected you to like hide away and we just hadn't really pushed the boat out like and challenged that design in like literally such a long time. If you look at the evolution of like open bionics prosthetics like they've come such a long way but you don't really know how good of a product it is until you have somebody stick their arm in it and try it. The first project I did with Open Bionics, we took a prosthetic arm to San Diego Comic Con where obviously it was like really, really hot, it was like 40 degrees and we were, that's when we realised, oh wait, ventilation is really important in a prosthetic arm, let's, let's get some ventilation in there. There's like images in my mind of like tug of war, pull this arm off me because it literally got stuck on me. It's not for the Prosecco! Artificial intelligence is like such a spectrum, but like it's just come so far in like the way the arms are designed. Like it's all online, it's all in a system now. The system is like predicting things and it's very, very accurate. It makes it comfortable for the user, even if they're not in the room. So it's not like invasive, it's no like brain control, or anything like that. It's very like practical and um, physical when I move my muscles. So every time I move that muscle, you get like an electric signal and the sensors can pick that up. So basically it's these two muscles which I use to control the entire hand. So it's squeeze to close, flex to open, like that. This is how I do it using the new features of this bonacom. Honestly, the second I put them on, I just felt really good about it. The little things, like being able to shake people's hand for the first time. Like, I wouldn't do that. And it would make, like, meeting people a lot of the time really awkward. And it was like, oh God, what I'd do, what I'd give to just be able to, like, shake someone's hand and avoid this. And now I can't. I used to be hanging out with my friends and like if there was a camera I'd like throw a peace sign up and obviously it would just look like this like nobody knows what's really going on there but me but now to like actually be able to do that and express myself while I'm talking and it's like done so much for like my body language and things it's like monumental it's like things you don't even think about the medical like tech space at the minute is just like out of this world like we don't talk about it enough but it's just opened so many doors that like i'm so honored and like proud and excited to be at the forefront of it and get to see everything that's happening